Hello, I'm Paul Wells. This is chapter 11 of the story of Plug and Plink, linked to the previous chapters down in the description. Right, well, Christmas has come slightly early for me. I have this package, this sealed package. I've got a pretty fair idea what it is because it's come from the Plug and Plink manufacturer. Um, but this is the first production quality snake. So let's open it up and see what's inside. Right, shrink wrapped box. Quite a nice size, um, not too large. Let's just take the shrink wrap off as well. So this is the first time I've seen the box. Um, it's interesting as well to see how the, the box has survived in transit and we'll see how the snake has survived in transit as well. The box is a bit shinier than I was expecting, I have to say, but um, let me just tell you quickly about this uh, picture, which is uh, on the box. Um, so this picture was put together, I don't know, about June of this year and I didn't want a box with treble clefts and a wavy stave and a sprinkling of notes and an eight-year-old child with a cheesy smile on their face smiling at the piano. I didn't want any of that. Um, I decided that um, I'd go for a picture like this. And in order to make a picture like this, um, you need so it looks like a photograph it is it is photographic looking obviously the snake didn't exist in June of this year um, but certainly the CAD model did and it is as I alluded to in the last video I made last week this is the same CAD file the same 3d computer model file that made this picture, that made the video, that made the online model, um, but also was actually sent to the factory and cut into metal to make the mould that makes the plastic of the head of the snake. I was very lucky to find the guy that made this picture. I didn't want to show a picture of someone else using plug and plink. I wanted the viewer to be using plug and plink. And I also wanted to show its ultimate setting. Why do you learn to play the piano? Why does a child learn to play the piano? It's not so that they can have piano lessons. It's so that they can one day play, play to an audience. So I wanted a picture which is the perspective of the person you on stage playing to an audience and I wanted gear I wanted stage gear gig gear I wanted big amplifiers a drum kit um, where's the gantry you can only see it on the side there but something that says this is a serious professional gig you're at now I understand it's quite ridiculous that you would turn up at a gig and there would be a snake on the piano. Um, but I kind of like that. It's a little bit of a joke that that situation would ever occur. More like, and I like to think someday somebody will be on stage who had piano lessons uh, using one of these snakes and might just remember, yes, this was a, a, a component that was instrumental in me getting here. Just my little idea, just my my idea of what, where this could go. Um, I had to fight with the guy. So, so an artist made the picture to my specification and then another person 
took that picture and turned it into a box. And the design originally came back with plug and plink plastered all over it and all sorts of writing over it. And there was almost nothing to see of the picture. And I had to say, can you please remove all of that? I just want the picture on the top of the box. We can have the logo on the side. And I think that the logo actually comes on every side quite nicely. So shall we open it? I've not seen in here before. In fact, I need to show it to the camera, don't I? So here we are. So it's a sort of very straightforward box. And inside we have a snake. So let's look at the snake first. Okay, um, I was told by the manufacturer they may take a little bit of time to, to just settle flat. So this one is indeed, um, I can stop this rattling, is that better? Um, but I've told by the, I've been told by the manufacturer it will it will go straight. So that seems okay. Maybe needs a little bit of time on the piano just to just to settle down. And so the neck bends. The neck bends nice and easily. It's very gentle action, but it, it will and you can put an inflection in it if you like. So, so the neck will definitely bend to whatever shape of piano that you have. And, oh, this is good. This is very good. So it feels kind of heavy. Um, so it's not gonna bounce around on the, on the keyboard at all. I've not seen this before. So this is the, uh, the logo printed on there. That's very nice. And the eyes are, printed nicely as well. They feel very good. And uh, the tongue cable I have seen before, but let me show you anyway. So it's a nice floppy cable and a nice, uh, a nice bright color to show the, uh, show the tongue of the snake, give it a bit of personality, give her a bit of personality. I've decided they're all female. Um, um, I think the only thing that's missing from this one, there's actually a, a, a grip pad on the bottom here. Um, this one hasn't got one yet. Um, and there's an information plate on the bottom, which again, we're legally required to add. All feels good, all feels good. Uh, this piece here, so that's got a, it's got some grooves on it there just to kind of communicate. You're supposed to grab it with your fingers and then bend the neck to whatever shape you like. But it, it feels really good. I like the flexibility of it. So it's intended to curl up that way, uh, exploiting the fact. So these are the spaces where the black keys sit, but that also means that um, there's a little bit less tension turning it that way than, than than coiling that way, um, and I can I can feel that now. I can feel that's working quite well. Um, so these are the sections. So it's four octaves. This is a four octave snake. Can't believe how good it feels. Really, definitely got a nice nice feel to it, a nice grip to it, but a nice flexibility to it. And it is difficult. It's very difficult to get this sort of flexible it's got so it's got a flexible circuit board inside it that has the leds on it um it's very good really very good i like the flexibility of it tailpiece feels good it all feels it all feels quite high quality it's um certainly had a lot of work put into it but i'm, I'm very pleased with this version so this is the version that has uh, inside it it has uh, an outer skin of green flexible plastic extruded um, but we added an inner section of extruded white plastic to let the light through but also to make it the right shape so that it um, so that it fits down nicely onto the 
circuit board so it gives plenty of bonding between the the flexible plastic and the circuit board and then the belly pieces underneath that's it i'm not going to power it up this week next week um i'll run the app i'll set it up and we'll try it out thank you for watching